Convinced governments have massive cash reserves they're keeping from you just to be evil? Do you have zero understanding of the global financial system in which all countries now exist? Then you need a group of D-list celebrity nationalists to fight your corner. Because everything is easily solved by pledging more money. And lift all benefits. No tax rises required. No cuts to other services. No need to set the conditions for a growing economy to take in more tax. A fairer society means pledging to pay for everything absolutely free. And put money into people's pockets. It's that easy. Have a 5,000 pound cash injection every day. Hell, why not have 10,000 pound? Now that's compassionate. And now doubled. Still buying groceries? Why bother when we'll pay and deliver them all every week from Marks and Spencer? We'll even give everyone unlimited holidays to every corner of the globe, and we'll send you first class. Three things that will make a difference to millions of people. Why doesn't every country in the world pledge free everything to its citizens? We don't know. But Emeritus Professor Emma Harper says it would work just fine. And she thinks a 10-year government bond yield is a type of chocolate bar. Just relax. You're in safe hands. Remember, if you think blindly pledging more money for everything would lead to a mass economic default that hits the poorest hardest. That's a wicked rumor. You are pure evil. And no, the S&P can't find Venezuela or Greece on the map, so they basically never existed. Anyone can pledge any amount of money to anything. That's easy. That money is borrowed from wealthy investors in the global financial markets. They get richer with the interest the government will have to pay them. If a country doesn't pay the interest, it defaults, and basic public services will cease to exist. The free money pledgers either willingly know they'll impoverish their country and its people, or are too lazy to research global economics.